there. B-Rad here with Buzz TV. We have something really special for you. We're here with the Brothers of Brazil. We're gonna start, well, guys, introduce yourselves for us. Well, I'm Supla, I play drums and I sing, and I'm from Sao Paulo, Sao Paulo, Brazil. Very him. <laughs> yeah, I'm Joao, I play guitar and sing, and I'm also from Sao Paulo, okay? And we are really blood brothers, from the same dad, same mom. That was gonna be a question, so we, so we cut to the chase a little bit. Well, you know. <laughs> that's not a bad thing. You know, just explaining. No, good, good, good. Now, uh, I love the stuff that I've heard from you. It's really hard to describe their style. I couldn't put them in a box. What I can say, Thank you. it's got a great groove and a feel, and they are just it. One of my questions is, you guys have such a diverse styles between the brothers. How did that develop? Well, uh, we were doing our, uh, our own careers separately before the brothers, right? And, uh, and then, we found out, oh, what if we mix that? And then we became the Brothers of Brazil, but we have really different, a lot of different influences, you know, and we put them together and it works. Basically, it's, uh, I, I bring the, the rock and roll, the punk rock, and, uh, and Jean brings the bossa nova. So we kind of make fun, like singing in a way, it's like, he's like Don Jobim, Jean Gilberto, and I'm like the Sid Vicious guy in a way, you know, and gives a blend with that. But know? it works, as I said, yeah. you guys have just such a groove well, that I, I really haven't that. heard, but I love the music. We, we really think like it's very important, I mean, uh, as, as an artist, uh, I think it's very important to keep the sincerity, you know, that I don't see too much in, in a lot of like, bands around and stuff of course there's a lot of good ones and uh but i think it's very important to tr at least try to be original in a way you exactly. know leave your uh, contribution to music in an original way and uh that's what we're trying to do and all, always thinking about having a great song a good song because if you don't have a good song it doesn't matter what mix you're going to do it because it's going to be like you don't have a good song so you got to have something that means something to somebody you know at least for us and then somebody can feel that same emotion that we felt when we wrote the song you know exactly mm -hmm. um when it comes to songwriting is there one of you guys that more or less will lead the thing or is it someone comes in with an idea and we run from there yeah, we, it can happen many different ways you know yeah. uh, since we've been touring a lot uh we've been writing a lot on the road yeah we know? wrote uh the name of our our new single that it's on it's the name of our new album it's called on my way and we wrote it in austin texas yeah right uh, after a show after a show and then we went to this crazy studio in austin and uh and there was a little Texas girl over there, and uh, and it just went really fine, you know? And awesome. he had a beautiful riff, and, uh, and from that riff came out the song On My Way. But a lot of songs we think about, uh, we have songs like called Blinded by Fashion, uh, Paparazzi, uh, and with crazy stories behind. They all have like crazy stories, you know? And uh, The Imposter. One of my favorite tracks is yes. I Hate the Beatles. Oh, we got the Hate the Beatles too. Um, and where did that come from? Because we love them too much. Oh no, I love them too much, but I love saying that I hate them because it's, you know, everybody loves these guys and they're and they're great, we all know that. I don't even agree with Johnny Rotten when he says, oh, they became, they turn into like Sgt. Pepper's. Sgt. Pepper's a good album, man. I love that song. Oh, I get by with a little help from my friends. I don't give a flying fuck, Johnny. Fuck you, fuck off, you know, with all my respect. I love that song and no problem. You know, very I'm just, I'm just, I'm just being honest <laughs> with myself. You know, we were touring with the Addicts, and they come with the symphony from Beethoven, right? Da, 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 da. You know that song, exactly. and, right? And uh, and if you think about that song in Ringo Starr, he goes like, Oh, you do that, I sing got a tune, but you stand up and walk. It's almost like a little bit like that, you know. But what I want to say is, it's a good song and it means something, you know, in my opinion. And don't get me wrong, Johnny Rotten is really good too, in my opinion. So. Well, you know, there's, there's, everyone's yeah. got their own taste yeah. and flavor and belief. Exactly. We hate him too. Well, no, there you go. Because <laughs> we love him so much. There you go, John. <laughs> now, uh, how's the American tour going? It's been going great. We just did a, a, a little tour with Addicts. This year we played with the Floggy Molly. We played with Floggy, Floggy Molly. Molly. really yeah. good. Yeah. Yes. Those guys yeah. are great. And we're going to play with them in Brazil too in November. Yeah. Oh, right? that's going to be fun. Yeah. Yes. And now we just started this tour with, uh, with Adam Adamant. We played with the Addicts. It was fantastic. Yeah. 
Yeah. You know? Yeah, uh, we saw a very some, young crowd. Yeah, we saw some of your stuff. You were in LA the last uh, day yes, or two. Yes, two days at the yeah. Key Club. Yeah, and it looked like you guys had some fun. We had it a is, good yeah. time. Yes. Very good. You know, because kids. Different crowd. Yeah, different. I mean, because kids, they come, they want to really mosh and go bananas on the circle pit. And with, but with us, it's not like just about mosh. I mean, it's not really mosh. It's like pay attention, you know, to the song. And if you're more than welcome to, to go around and, you know, just go bananas too. But it's, you know, people really pay attention. You know, girls, they like the songs too. Oh, it's I fun. think you're opening up to a really wide audience. There's people that, yes. that Spread the when music. they see you, yeah. yes. they, they're like me. Oh God, I love these cool. guys. Let alone you're And we rest. keep it simple. Yes. You have our, like, the new album as well, or just the first one? Um, we have the first one. We have stuff for the new one as well. I'm giving you the second one. Okay. And what we'll be doing is during the interview, there will be background tracks. So you'll be hearing tracks right, off on. the new album during this whole interview. And yes. what you can do too is go on YouTube and check out the video from All My Way, Brothers of Brazil. Yes. We shot that in the desert. With an, with an iPhone. Yeah. On an iPhone, yeah. Really? On an iPhone, yeah. yes. I'm all really cool. Oh, yes. we really want to see that. And we're running for best band in Brazil for uh, on MTV. Uh, the best DMB. band. Yeah. Yes. Oh, that's, MTV that's nice. Yes. That's yeah. nice. Actually, we're going back to Brazil now after this next two shows to play at the at the MB Awards in Brazil. in Brazil. And then we're meeting with the tour, Weatherman tour in Florida after. So we're going yeah. back and forth. <laughs> like well, by the time this airs, we're gonna know how they did, and we'll keep you, you know, put an update on what you did, if you got it. We know you're gonna get it, because who else is any better? <laughs> That's right, uh, But then again, we love these guys. A duet. How many guys in a two-piece can do what these guys do? You really need to check them out. Another question, musically. Does either one of you have any formal training? Yes, yes, yes. I did some singing classes. I did a uh, little bit of drum classes, but uh, I where I really learned was playing through the records and playing with bands and uh, also uh, going to soccer stadiums, you know, playing the drums, you right. know, uh, uh, that's called School of Samba. So I put like some crazy beats in the middle of the show from like Samba, like da 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 boom boom ba 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 boom boom ba 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 well, in every way, you know, I went to, uh, I had a lot of teachers, great teachers musically, and I also learned a lot by myself, you know, just listening to the records, you know. A lot from uh, all the American guitar heroes, you know, I got very influenced by that, but also some br Brazilian uh, guitar players. Uh, like Jean Gilberto, yeah, Baden and, Paolo, and it's really composers, worth checking out. Uh, I got very influenced by that too. In fact, that was something I really wanted to touch on. How is the music scene different in Brazil compared to here? Is it easy for people to get stages, get noticed, and maybe make it's a hard. living at this? It's hard. I mean, if you're a musician, I mean, uh, it's, it, it's hard. In it's anywhere. hard everywhere, I'll say, yeah. you know. But these days, with, with the new technology, the internet, everything has changed, you know, and, and that helps. And at the same time, uh, it's hard to make money of like selling CDs, uh, and there's so there are good stuff about it, that there are bad stuff about but it. There's a lot of waste of time too, I think, on face ass and all that stuff because people sometimes that you could be practicing your piano or something, and you're like, you know, like checking out uh, who's coming in the, in the Facebook or whatever. It's good, but I mean, you're promoting, but I don't know. Man. Oh, we get lost in that ourselves. Yeah, yeah it, it is. It is. Yeah. I mean, yes. There's but, too many hours spent. Yes. But, it's yes. important. Exactly, you have but to do it. Yeah, it's kind of a waste in a way too, but it's okay. It's, it's hard work, man, you gotta work everything. That's what it is at the end. Exactly. Yeah. Now, we don't know, you guys sponsored or endorsed by anyone? Don't know. We're no, not. well, we just... We, we had a couple of things, right? I was by a, a Brazilian drum drum company, Odiri, and the guys in uh, in Brazil, they, they want to sponsor me like with symbols and... Uh, yeah. But uh, well, we I mean, I just didn't have time. Taco Bell, no. Yeah, Taco Bell. Yeah, <laughs> they, they Taco Bell. They gave us like yeah, five hundred dollars in Taco so Bell so gifts. Yeah. So no, that's a biggie. You gotta that, eat when you're on the road. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. A lot of Taco that's Bell. On a lot of Taco <laughs> Bell. Thanks, Taco Bell, man. Because we had this song called the Sushi Taco. Yeah. About this girl that she said to me, "Oh man, uh, you know, I was going out with this lady, and she said, oh man, you know, you just got with kind of junk food, and I'm here, I'm like caviar.' She said, "You're caviar? I never heard that one before." Who said I want to eat caviar every day, you know? So we wrote a song for her. You keep your wacko sushi, taco wacko. She said, this caviar is fine. <laughs> right on. Uh, that's fine. <laughs> yeah. Now, let's see. Is there anyone that you'd like to be sponsored or have an endorsement deal with that you don't? Hint, hint, hint. 
Um, oh yeah, by Gibson because I love the guitar. Gibson Chad Atkins. He deserves. He's I think uh, one of the best guitar players around. Him. I use it with nano string. They don't make those guitars anymore, actually. So I got two used ones, and I and I'll love to get some endorsement from that. And I hope they will start making some more of those again, even if it's just for me. <laughs> well, they do have the custom shop. Yeah. And for me, I don't know, for drums, man, uh, I like Pace is a very good symbol. I mean, I use that. And uh, I got a new brand that I forgot the new brand now that I have. And drums could be anyone. I mean, I have two kits here, some really small kits in America. Uh, that is one is a Yamaha that I think is fantastic and Sonar are my favorite ones. Sonar. We, yeah, they're really we good have ones. some friends that play those and yeah. really like them. And I, but that kit is in New York because sometimes we go through New York and do the whole thing and it's a very small kit. It's like a little kit kit, you know? Right. But it sounds good, man. I really like the sound of it, you know? And for us, it's, it's good, you know? And one of the last it's things fun. I wanted to ask you, for anyone that's trying to break in the business, get in, what advice might you have either being independent, going with a label, I think the I most say the most important thing is to play, play and play and play, you know, because yeah. that's the the only way you can get uh, to be a better band. Yeah. Uh, and rehearsal too, but if you don't play live, you never really get to 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 see what it's all about, you know. Yeah, I think so that's that's, that's what it is. And then of course there's always like those ex exposure things, you know, that you can be exposed to this or that, you know. I mean, we've been doing a lot of. Uh, I've been doing this for a long time, you know. Been, we're from Brazil. So uh, a lot of things happen to us, you know, in, uh, in different crazy styles, you know, and uh, I'm, I'm talking about in terms of media that is very important. Right. And uh, you should just try to be intelligent and use the tools in an intelligent way. But the most important thing is the music, you know, and you just exactly. got to keep playing, man. Just keep playing. There's no other way. You yeah. got to play. No uh, other way. Like uh, two years ago from now, we started to, to tour a lot. And we feel that we got so much better as a band, you know. No comparison. Just yeah. playing, playing every night, you know. Yeah. So that's my advice for any band. No, we really appreciate it because, again, we're trying to help everybody out. And so, yeah, that's and the message, man. Anything you could give to anyone is always a big, big thing. The, the, yeah. The thing real. You know? And make it everything is important. <clears throat> The art, you know, the yeah. concept of the band, everything, the idea. Our idea, for example, it's just a rock and roll guy, but for busting of a guy. We're two brothers. We're really from Brazil. The guy that used to manage the Clash named our band, Bernard Rose. Right. You know, he saw us playing. I, I was an old friend of mine, and I told him, come on and see us play and see what do you think if you think there's a future in this, right? Because just two guys, and I said, I think it's great, man. Now. Got to work a lot, you know, and uh, the name of the band is Brothers of Brazil. I said, okay, that sounds good. So <laughs> he kept that, you know. There you go. Um, we found something the last couple of years. I don't know if you're familiar with it. It's something called the iTunes Festival. It's something that's in England. I never heard of that. It's yeah. every September. They've had it for maybe the last five years. How come you're not there? Well, it's because we're here with you and having yeah. more fun. 30 days oh. shows, 30 days straight. At least two artists, sometimes three. The biggest names you've heard of to people you've never heard of. The reason I mention it, this year and last year, myself, I've just found a couple artists never heard of right. and, and truly am in love with. And if you oh. haven't heard of it, maybe you know you might want to bring it up with your people for next year. Absolutely, Would because it's a great thing to pitch for us to play. We'd there. love to see you there. I know yeah, it's in England. It's in England. It's in the Roundhouse, but. Um, Apple streams it, so there's apps for everything, and they stream it live. After the show, you could watch it for a good another month before right. it'll magically disappear. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. But for me, as I said, I found some people, blues, just a uh, guitar player with a style I've never seen before, right, right. let alone, I think, what, last year the Foo Fighters played a great set, uh -huh. this year. You know, there's, so there's some real big names with it, but the whole thing is breaking artists that people really haven't heard of. And personally, you guys, I think, would be just so incredible if you ever Last get year there. we played in England, you know. We did already two tours over there with the uh, Hugh Cornwell from The Stranglers. Right. And then we did a tour on our own. And uh, well, definitely I'm going to uh, tell our manager there. to yeah. pitch, yes. Definitely look into that. To pitch, pitch, pitch to play iTunes Festival. iTunes Festival. It Festival. So will be next September. So it would be again, next September year. of 2013. Yeah. Okay. Um, but again, it's been going on since 2007. Wow. It just gets bigger and bigger and bigger each well, year. Thanks for the tip. And we just love it. Um, 
We want to sign off just saying thanks for giving us so, some time. Yeah. Buzz, Buzz TV, right? Buzz TV. TV. Buzz TV, thanks for having us. Thanks no, for thank the, you guys. The opportunity and the space. We can't wait to see your set later because, again, we're filming some stuff from it in 3D. You're going to love these guys. Please, when they come to your town, check them out. If not, find them everywhere. If you can't do that, just Google Brothers of Brazil. They're going to pop up all over the place. Again, thank you, guys. We really had a ball. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Brothers! <laughs>
free diagnostic, you can get a, a free di diagnostic and we can uh, tell you what's wrong with it. And if you want to get it fixed, you can get it fixed right here. Okay, now what if I don't live in Vegas? The cool thing is you can send it to us one day, UPS or uh, FedEx, and we get it back to you. We actually send it back out the day we get it. So it's usually a three-day process. We can get anything uh, fixed and back to you and within three days. And there's a link on our friends page, so that'll give you the, all the information on how to get a hold of Lamar. So here's a question. I have uh, an iPhone, a 4, 4S. I even picked up a new 5, and I'm on a certain carrier with the SIM card, but I don't want to be on that carrier. Can you unlock them? This is a great question. Uh, normally, uh, you would have to jailbreak your phone, and you'd have to do a couple other tweaks to get it unlocked if it was even one of the phones that could be unlocked. Uh, some versions, because of the firmware and the baseband, modem uh, baseband, uh, could not be unlocked. Now, CC Repairs is able to factory unlock your phone through Apple, through iTunes, uh, so that your phone will be unlocked for any carrier, for any SIM card, forever. That means you can update your phone whenever you want. You can jailbreak it, unjailbreak it, update it to the newest software, and you'll still be able to stick your T-Mobile or whatever carrier you want to use SIM card in the phone, and it'll work uh, just like that. Very cool. Now, let's just say I needed some jailbreaking stuff done. I'm not talking about stealing apps or anything hokey like that, because if you want to do that, go on the web, learn about that. But I'm talking if I want to customize my phone, do some cool stuff. I could look it up and probably mess my stuff up. Do you do that stuff as well? Yeah, we help you out. Uh, some people want to do custom themes and uh, things like that. Uh, if you want to come on in, uh, we can help you do that. We also jailbreak phones for you. Uh, of course, we unlock them, but we do put Cydia on your phone so that you're able to uh, add those themes that you see on the Internet that everybody's using on YouTube. Now something else, you could look on the walls behind me and see some of the things Lamar does. Obviously he does colors and everything else, but I'm going to hold up something here. Hold this for me real quick. You got it. Talking to Lamar today, this is a week's worth of glass that he's changed out from phones, iPads, droid stuff. That's a week. Motorola Zooms, uh, we've got all types of tablets in there. Uh, all types of iPads, 1, 2, and 3. We're already changing out the iPad 3 glass, believe it or not. 4S glass, uh, 4, 3GS, all HTC phones. Did a couple Samsungs this uh, week, also LGs. So basically anything that has glass on the front of it, right here. Very cool. Now me, he's also fixed screen and a digital camera for me. I know he's how good he is. You guys will learn about it too. You never know who will come by. We sent wheels over here. He'll be stopping by soon to get his phone fixed as well. But I wanted to turn you on to this because he's the best. There's people that will take your phone, say they fixed it, open it up, yoink all your parts, put a bunch of garbage back in, give you your phone back, and when it doesn't work, say, we didn't do that. Lamar doesn't do that. He doesn't need to. He's that good. So I'm going to sign off. This is B-Rad with Buzz TV. We're with Lamar, CC Repairs. Hey, Lamar, thanks a lot. Have a good one, brother. You too, brother.